And as we always say, the first match in team competition is so important. Anthony Sinisu Kaginting for Indonesia and Li Zijia for Malaysia. Well, Anthony Ginting looking very relaxed to me. Bronze medalist at the Asian Games on home soil in Jakarta in 2018. Last year, the Indonesian reached five finals, but he lost all five finals that he reached. This year, he started particularly well because he won the Indonesian Masters, a second Indonesian Masters title, beating the previous champion, Anas Antonsen, in the final. So this will be a second meeting between these two players. The only previous time they met was in the first round of last year's French Super 750 event. 21-16, 21-8 in under 30 minutes. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting beat the Malaysian in Paris. I suspect today's match might be a little different though. But Anthony Ginting really has established himself as a player who can win any tournament. He's such a fast mover around the court and moves with such poise and balance. It's not just his speed, it's controlled movement as well. His opponent, Li Zizia, is a tall athlete and he too is a strong mover around the court, but you have to say that Ginting is the more experienced of the two, even though he's only 23 years of age. Born in Chimahi, just west of Bangdong, and he's currently enjoying his fourth consecutive week at a career high of five. His career win-loss record translates into nine finals, winning four titles, and as I was saying, his latest title earlier this year. He has won all of his matches. The semi-final was a bit of a disappointment, really, against the World Championship bronze medalist, Sai Pranith. It only lasted 11 minutes. He won the opening game 21-6. There was clearly something wrong with Sai Pranith, and he sadly had to retire after that opening game. So to Li Zizia, who will turn 22 next month, he was a bronze medalist at the World Junior Championships in Bilbao in Spain back in 2016. He's three places down from his career high ranking of 11, where he spent just one solitary week at number 11 in the world. Semi-finalist at the Malaysian Masters earlier this year, uh, beating Antonsen in the first round quarterfinal, beat Shi Uchi. And as you can see from his uh, list of results, four matches played, uh, four matches won, including uh, beating Sai Pranith uh, in, of India in the group stage and Ho Kwan He in the quarterfinal for Korea. And a semi-final against Kanta Suniyama. Three games in the semi-final yesterday. On my right, Indonesia, represented by Anthony Sinisuka Ginding. And on my left, Malaysia, represented by Lee Ji Jia. Malaysia to serve, love all, play. So Lee Zijia of Malaysia getting the Badminton Asia men's team final underway. One love. One all. Oh, that's a super shot. All stemming from 
from that lovely and forward forward. movement. Watch how he moves back. One. And by the time he's played the shot, his body weight's coming forward in court again. opportunity. Three, two. Wonderful athletic play from Lizzie Jia. It's not only the dive, it's how quickly these players get up again and play on the rally. It would be understandable with both these players are a little bit nervous at the start of this match. Both of them now in these early stages have missed what they would normally term as a good opportunities to put the shuttle away. Four, three. Shake your head at the moment, you're only seven points into the match. shot it was from Lise Jia but it was even better Five, from Ginting four. look at that Phenomenal. Shot to prominence, Lee It was back in 2018 when he won the Chinese Taipei Super 300 event, having beaten Chu Tian Chen, now the world number two, in the semi-final stage. Look at that defence. That's brilliant. Great reactions. And he gets down low so well for such a tall man. 
186, that's six foot one. Just watch this. And it's because his ready position in the middle of the court, he has a low center of gravity. Look how he keeps his knees bent, keeps low, ready to move, ready to pounce like a cat to move to the shuttle. So still early stages. Seven all. Lee. Oh. Oh, it's landed in. That held up with the drift. Shuttle flying fast and coming towards the Malaysian. Four straight points. teammates who are going to play in not the next match but the match after that I saw that Jonathan Christie was sitting watching with body smash say about teammates sitting and watching because you get emotionally involved Ten, while you're watching eight. a teammate because you so want them to win. There's Jonathan Christie just behind in the Rossetia one. So do you use that emotional energy watching or should you be in the practice venue just behind centre stage here? It's always a dilemma. Of course you want to support your teammate but you've got to keep yourself calm at the same time. Game interval with a three point advantage, Li Xijia of Malaysia. Nine minutes into the match. Pin for one. In the virtual hand to the Malaysian coaches. We're in this first break. I ought to explain why we haven't got a full stadium here and that's because at government level in the Philippines there's a ban at the moment because of the coronavirus on mass gatherings and therefore it's only especially invited people who are allowed to come to world class badminton. Eleven, eight, play. So Lee Sijia, seven of the last eight points. Occasion the Malaysian. Oh, clever. Very clever play from Anthony Ginting. 
to this man. supporters here, there's Indonesian supporters wherever Babington has played around the world. Ginting. Anthony Ginting challenge. It's a little risky goal to challenge out. on the far back line. But because of the hesitation of the line judge, Ginting thought it was worth another look. And the line judge was correct. So just challenge one challenge left for full. Anthony Ginting in this one game. Limit. Twelve thirty. Play. smash as he says yeah 15 40 
setting up the opportunity to play the winning shot off the tight 16, spinning net shot. 50. Here it comes, look at that. And Ginting only able to lift about half court. Did actually guess the right side as to which side the smash was coming. Point for point at the moment. That is over. Good. What a backhand there from Ginty. Easy jar, I suspect, overcommitted, looking for a shot back to the net once he saw Ginting turn and have to play the backhand from low down. At the back of the court, he assumed it was going to be a drop shot. Well, that was a wonderful backhand clear from this man. Oh. Yep. Shuffle taken with the drift, taken long with the back 18, line. 17, backhand side is Lee. It's interesting because he said recently he wanted to improve his defensive game under Hendra one as his new coach. tell you that Anthony Ginting Lee. has been asking the umpire for the court to be mopped of the perspiration the umpire has said no Anthony Lee. 19 or who's going to have the game point Is 
Malaysia have the game point opportunity. Look at the elevation on that jump. Oh, that's jolly close. Extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Look at that. Super. And again, Ginting asks for the courts and being mopped this time. He's given permission. opportunity himself. Two minutes. Absolutely thrilling opening game that was. Anthony Ginting saving a game point before winning it 22-20. So what can Lindsay Jia do in response to that? Oh my 
worked. Well, a winning backhand smash straight down the line. That's the answer. That's what he can do in response. Well, this is just outrageously good. Look at that. expecting a smash to come from Anthony Ginting, but I think he knew that he'd broken the strings of his racket. Let's see if his strings broke earlier on. No. Just an injection of pace of movement. And in hitting that smash, he broke the strings of his racket. But he was so fast back, Lise Jard just wasn't expecting his opponent to smash at all. Here's the Indonesian men's singles uh, coach, Hendri Saputro. Nice. We oh, didn't finish it. Ginting in all sorts of trouble. Three, two. On the rally in the end, but rather than block that, I think he could have perhaps killed it. was struggling with one or two niggling injuries at the end of last year. Oh. <laughs> Three, five. Brilliant. Uh, it's not often you see the fastest man in world Babinson Six, left three. completely stranded. First of all, Fox by that one. And then he certainly wasn't expecting a cross court there. That's wonderful play from Lee. Ginting early on in that rally. How do you readjust so quickly? There's the neck board. Didn't just get it back, he got it back with interest. Oh, that's nice. Right into the corner. Five, six. Careful with the lifts and 
pushes and clears. Because he's hitting with the wind. I like that last one. Shot liable to go long of the back line. Oh, but that one didn't. That's great the adjustment. Seven. Oh, man, that Ginting has missed so far today. He's landed, his body weight's going forward again. I told you he had lovely movement. No, I certainly wasn't exaggerating. Get ready, Peter. Addressing the shuttle early at the net. Watch the racket carriage here of Ginting. Is up ready? He comes from above the shuttle. And that's why he's got so many options and can play the deceptive shot. of Li Zizia and he bounced over. Take a look at this. We saw a similar thing in the women's final. Look at that. And that was at the end of Back the longest board. rally so far. Back 26 shots. here from Lee. Lee Zizia challenges. I think the smash from in. Ginting was flatter than he meant it to be, but I thought it still landed in. This man begs to differ. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? Yeah. Oh, John, she's right. Mm. 
that was an inspirational shot, that backhand from Ginting. Look, he plays that when it's gone way past him. And he plays a cross-court winner. A moment of magic. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Eleven nine. Please. is on a bit of a roll at the moment. So Lee Zijia needs some mental toughness right now. A oh, little bit of luck will help. Oh, that's a good smash. Good change of tactics from Ginting. He's tried so many angled attacking shots that time, hitting straight at his opponent, aimed towards the middle of his chest. Well, Ginting was in all sorts of trouble there. was indeed long. My goodness, he was fortunate there. Sixteen. Ten. Ten of the last twelve points to Anthony Ginty. From six eight down to sixteen ten up. That I saw that has just missed. Anthony Ginting challenges call out. Maybe it clipped the line. Hawkeye will tell us for sure. Here we go. No, it was out. Well done, line judge. Very, very fun. One challenge to me. Then it's over. 12, 16. So both of them with just one challenge remaining in this second game. Jonathan Christie, who's due on the third match. Peggy, 60. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 
desperately tried to up the pace of his movement in the early stages of that rally. He's fighting and fighting, but at the moment, Anthony Ginting has all the answers. Another body smash doing the damage. Three points away from getting Indonesia off to the perfect start in defence of their title. Oh, that's landed on the line. Nice return. That is over. 14, 18. Body attack. He says, Yeah, I was working for 15, him too. 18. Here it comes. the backhand smash and then look how does he create that angle out of nothing Rally from Lee. 16, 19. Oh! That would have been a shot of the week. But it didn't work. 20. And it means that there's match point opportunities, four of them, for Anthony Ginting to win the first men singles in the final. That's got long. Yeah. He converts on his first opportunity. And Anthony Sinisuka Ginting beats Elise Zia in two excellent games. Saved. Uh, a game Man, point in the opening game Indonesia. at 19 20 before 20, winning it 22 20. And uh, the second game, slightly more comfortable 21 16. Watches it closely go long of the back line. But most importantly, it's a win uh, for Anthony Ginting and for Indonesia.
There is confirmation 22, 20, 21, 16 in 45 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen,